Hi, I'm Mark Hutchison for Anchoring.com. Today we're going to talk about common types of rope and chain together called Anchor Road and highlight their differences. Anchor Road is generally made of nylon, chain, or a combination. Nylon road, such as what I'm holding here, is used in most anchor roads and is valued for its lightweight and elasticity. A lighter road is easy to haul and stow, and the elastic properties of nylon mitigate the stress of peak loads on the anchor, which provides a more secure hold. Nylon anchor rope commonly comes in a couple of varieties, twisted and braided. The advantages of twisted line are that it is more elastic, less expensive, and easier to splice than braided. The advantages of braided line are that it is stronger, looks better, and is easier on the hands. However, any type of nylon rope, either braided or twisted, does not stand up well to bottom abrasion nor does it weigh down your anchor line, which is important in order to maintain the optimum horizontal angle of force at which your anchor is going to perform its best. Chain does both of these jobs well. So you should add a section of chain to your road. The general rule of thumb is for the length of chain to be equal to the length of your boat. So for a 25 foot boat, you would have 25 feet of chain. However, even adding a small section of 10 feet of chain or more will be beneficial to your road setup. When selecting a road for your windlass, the most important thing to know is that if you intend to use rope and chain, the rope must be spliced to the chain. In other words, you cannot simply use a shackle to connect your rope to your chain, like this one here. You can either buy a pre-spliced rope and chain package, or you can splice the rope to the chain yourself. Splicing three-strand rope to chain is easy to learn, but if you feel more comfortable, Generally, any local marine store can do this for you, for a fee. In terms of what size of rope or chain you need, refer to your windlass manual. Most windlasses will generally accept only one size of rope and chain. To give you an example, a half-inch rope with quarter-inch chain is a common requirement for small pleasure craft windlasses. If you don't have your windlass manual, determine the model number of your windlass and either call the manufacturer or do a Google search for it. One of the most common areas of confusion with our customers is determining what the difference between chain types is. The confusion rests in the fact that not all chain is the same, even if it is the same size. For example, quarter inch HT chain, also called high test or G40 chain, is not the same as quarter inch BBB, also called G30 chain, nor is it the same as quarter inch proof coil chain. What you need to know is that the pitch and dimensions of each of these chain types are different and that subsequently your windlass will take only one of these types. For most modern windlasses, the most common chain type required is HT chain. In older windlasses, BBB chain used to be popular. Again, refer to your windlass manual and remember, it will require a specific chain type, most likely HT. For more information or to find professionally spliced anchor rope for your ground tackle configuration, visit us at anchoring.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Hutchison for Anchoring.com. Happy boating.